Hey guys, Megan here from ReachRight. We're going to talk you through how to upload sermons using um, Sermon Manager, which is a new sermon plugin that has some cool filtering options. So I'm going to show you here on this website what that looks like. <clears throat> All right, so the page has been set up here, but obviously there's no sermons yet, which is what your website um, would look like once you get this plugin. Um, but you can see you can search um, sort by speaker, series, topic, and book of the Bible, which is pretty cool. So let's go add a sermon. So from the dashboard, um, you'll have a new tab here. Um, called Sermons Pro. There are some setting options that if you want to go in and change, um, the main one that you would be messing with would be um, on the verse here. You can pick your um, Bible translation. So um, the default is the ESV, but as you can see here, you've got um, a lot of different ones. So if you want to switch this, Here's where you would do that and then just hit save changes. That's about the only setting you'll need to change if you want to. Um, but we're going to go ahead and add a sermon. So some of you guys will be um, uploading in series if you preach that way in series. And some of you might just be doing single sermons. So um, this Sermon Pro allows you to do both, which is kind of neat. So if we are just going to add a sermon, um, we're going to go to add new. Um, all your filtering options are here. So your speakers, your series, your topics, and your books. Um, they also have service types, which is a neat thing. So let's say that you guys have more than one service. If you've got contemporary, um, traditional, Wednesday night, um, Sunday morning or Sunday p.m. or Saturday night, whatever. Um, here is where you can enter your service types. And as you just hit save or add new service type, it's going to pop up over here. Okay. So um, we'll do uh, just so we have a couple options to show you Wednesday evening. That way when we go add a sermon, you'll be able to see where you can choose that. Okay. So we've got two service options here. Um, if you regularly have um, just obviously one preacher uh, for most of the time, you can add your speaker here. Um, I'll just put myself. Um, you can add an image here, which is kind of cool. So if somebody were to click on you to go find you, they'd be able to see you there, which I think is nice. Let's find me. I'm only doing this so you guys have a point of reference. <laughs> um, you obviously don't have to have an image there, um, but it is kind of cool if you do. I think it just adds another element to the site. So um, if you've got a couple different, if you've got an associate pastor or anybody else, you can add as many as you want. Or if you've got a guest speaker, you know, stick them in there so that you're able to choose them. And like I said, you don't have to have an image. Um, I just think it adds a little bit of um, pop to it. So. Same for series right now, since this will be our first thing going in, we don't have anything. So for this series, um, we will just title this Great Right Series. All right, so for your series, you do want to have a featured image. So we will just pick that guy. And so you'll see that pop up there. Okay, so now my series has an image. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a sermon and we can get into the details here. So here's my sermon and we are just going to title this, can't spell, retry, oops. Demo sermon number one. All right. Title goes here. 
any content is going to go here. So I usually do uh, recommend you guys write something. It doesn't have to be a paragraph, but even if it's just a couple sentences about what um, the sermon is about, it just gives a little bit of extra content and it's good for search engines. So having something there is preferred, but not required. Okay. All right. So now here's all your details. Um, also, just like with any other page, you obviously can add any pictures if you wanted to stick a little thumbnail in here. If you've got other pictures, forms, whatever, um, you can do that. Okay. So on my date preach, this is going to ask you, um, you know, obviously what day this sermon was preached. And here's where we talked about your service type. Obviously, if you leave that blank, it's not going to have a filter. So if you only have one service, if you got 8 30 a.m on sunday you don't have to put that in you can just leave that and that it'll just it won't be a filter option so we're going to choose sunday morning for there if you have a main bible passage um, that you're referencing uh, in the message you can add that here i'm just going to add this one so you can see once we save that how that looks um, you obviously can have multiple ones by adding the comma space, just like shown in that example there. So you can add a couple different Bible patches, passages. Um, those are just kind of cool to have. Um, if you're uploading audio, you're doing that right here. Location of your MP3. It's going to take you to your media library where you can upload um, the media file there. Uh, this is just media duration. If you want to type in how long the audio is, this is where you do it. Um, something that's a little different for video. Um, I usually would tell you to put the embed code in here from YouTube or Vimeo, but I find that the video link space works um, quite a bit better. So I'm going to grab a video from our YouTube real quick. Let me copy that and stick it in here. So obviously I'm not doing a embed code. As you can see, it is literally just the um, URL to that video. Okay. So if you've got sermon notes, a uh, PDF of your sermon notes or weekly bulletins, that can get stuck in here too, which is really cool. Um, if you want to allow comments on your website, um, on your sermons, you can check this box here. Obviously that's totally up to you. Um, each individual client does things differently. So if you want that, there it is. Um, something that's also a little different from our old sermon um, software is the sermon image. I am I have been doing it without a sermon image for now, just because since we've got a series image, um, having both can be a little um, overwhelming, especially if you've got video. Um, you'll see what I mean whenever we go to the individual sermon page. Um, it'll show a huge featured image, which is this one, and then your video is next. So I kind of didn't like the view of that, so I just, I'm not adding those on um, our sermons. Uh, you obviously can do that here, though, if you would like. Um, Bible books. So I've got my main Bible passage over here, but here is where you can start adding books of the Bible over here. Um, this is just any any sort of reference. OK, so if you um, want someone to be able to, you know, say, hey, we preached about John 316, but I had a couple psalm verses in there, then you can stick that in there. Um, topics. These are almost kind of like your tags uh, for like blog posts or something, if you think of it that way. So if this message, um, if you're preaching on um, tithing, giving, any, whatever your topic is, you can add that right in here. So because this is a demo, retry demo, I'm just going to say, I'm going to just add in one here so you can see. But you can add multiple ones. Um, okay, so that's just going to bring up my topic. So that way when someone is filtering and they're trying to find specific topics on friendship, love, whatever. Um, as long as you're adding those tags in, they can search that way. And here's your series. So we I just realized I totally spelled that wrong. Um, let's see. 
if you've already put some in or if you've done it, if you this isn't your first sermon, you will be able to choose this and um, find your series here. But if you start typing, it will bring up your, see, there it is, Reach Right series. I'm going to add that. My speaker. Same thing. You don't have to type in the whole name. Once you start typing, it'll pop up. And once you've done this a few times, you can just do choose from the most used tags. And if it's always the same person, then that's always going to come up. Okay. So that is it. We're going to publish that. And we're going to go back to the sermon manager page so we can look at how that is laid out. I haven't added that to the navigation here, so that's why it's not coming up over here. All right, so now we're on the sermon manager page. So this is how this looks. So here's my um, sermon name. My sermon series is here. Um, I do need to change this. This is the um, publish date and I'd like it to be the preach date. So that's in the settings that I can go change. Um, here is my preacher's name. There is a way also if you want to change that to say speaker instead of preacher, we can do that. Um, here's my scripture. Obviously, if you if you put a specific scripture here, um, you can hover and that's when it pulls up that um, Bible translation. So this is what I meant when I said, what Bible version do you want? The ESV, um, if you want that change, you do that back in the settings, what we talked about in the beginning of this video. Uh, here's where you easily can share the sermon, Twitter, Facebook, um, email, all these other social media. And then here are your um, book tags. Here are your topic tags, and here is my um, service tag. So just like up here, obviously when I have more than this one, they'll just be, it's in a three columned row. So you can just imagine there's one here, one in the middle, one on the side. Um, and then it will obviously, you can pull up any sermons that have those specific tags. So we're going to go into this sermon. So this is what I mean when I had the image here, then the video, then my stuff. Um, I'm going to go back in the settings and take this off because um, I prefer it just to right when you open it up, all I want to see is your video or your audio file and then this information. Okay. But as you can see, it does also, it still shows you here. Um, here's everything that we put in there. So that's why all of those tags are pretty important and they're just pretty neat to see all of those come together um, and it's really going to help um, your members be able to reference, you know, um, older messages that they missed or if they want to go back and find one. Um, our older sermon um, plugin that we had just wasn't the best for that. Um, you honestly couldn't, you'd have to just keep scrolling back until you find it. So this one allows a lot better to say, hey, you know what, I want to, I want to go back and listen to that message that Megan preached um, versus having to sift through them all. So that is the gist of that. There are, like I said, a um, couple different settings that um, you can change uh, and they're still making updates to this. So as that goes along, we'll be putting out some other videos if we need to. But obviously that's it. And we hope you guys um, enjoy.